It looked like much of the race today was going to be Clint Boyer's day, then contact with the 22. Can you even describe the disappointment, frustration? Well, yeah. I mean, it's just you get a car that good. and Man, I've been been coming here a long time. I've gotten close a few times. just feel like, you know, damn, I want to win this place. I don't know. He was chopping down pretty hard, and I know it's time to race, but he didn't, didn't leave me a whole lot of room right there off of four, and I got loose, and then by the time I got kind of wiggled up, we just barely touched. And just must have cut the valve stem out of it or something, but just crummy luck, man. Uh, Haas Automation Ford was really good. Fun place to race. You know, I, I'm sorry. If a fan can't like that kind of race, then I've been racing all my life, and, and I'm literally, you're out there, I mean, with a smile on your face, racing, you know, two or three wide to watch that in the Xfinity race yesterday. Um, I, feel, I feel like we finally got a good that traction compound down on the bottom finally got a good blend of it right however they're doing whether it's a 50 50 it's 50 50 it's the 50 50 not it's the 50 50 blend so, not the 80 20 so the 80 20 is out the 50 50 is in i think it's a good blend if you look it's still there you know uh, over the last couple of years and we've been trying that it's gone um i mean i was my strong suit was the bottom that's where i was the best and just unfortunately uh bernard again reagan well, Joey Logano pits from the lead on that last pit sequence. How disheartening was it to see how many cars stayed out when you came down pit road? Yeah, I mean, I was hoping we had more laps left. Uh, and I asked how many to go. There's a 15. I was like, that's not good. Uh, you know, at least we were in the right lane. And the restart was a mess. I don't know what was going on there on the restart. But there's so many. We were all three, four wide. I don't know what the deal was. But, um, you know, outside of that, we had a great Auto Trader Mustang. A car that should have won the race. I feel like we won the race a couple times. We just didn't win it when it mattered the most. Uh, there at the end when the 18 got ahead and uh, just good strategy on their part. I think we had the fastest car. We just uh, we didn't uh, get all the pieces right. You can have the fastest car and don't uh, do the rest of the stuff and you don't win. And, you know, the 18 capitalized on that and uh, congrats to them. But just thinks when you you think you passed, made the pass for the win, you, there's only a few laps to go, you think you did it, and uh, you just got to hold off the two, and then everything went the wrong way at the end. A strong day ends in disappointment for Joey Logano. Jamie? And it was a strong day indeed for Kurt Busch and the one team. And it was hard fought, started 27th. And you guys never gave up. And then the restart right next to your brother. Take us through the race and especially the last restart. It was a tough battle in our number one Chevy. Uh, the Monster Energy team's doing a good job. That one's tough. I really wanted to beat him. I was going to wreck him. I was, I was wanting to stay close <laughs> enough so that when we took the white, I was just going to drive straight into three and four. I mean, he's already won. He figured he can give a little love to his brother. No. Okay. Older brother, especially. I wanted that one bad. I feel like him right now. I'm all like, I'm all mad because I didn't win. But this car, we're, we're struggling on qualifying. We struggle on taking off. And I just can't get that right rear to grip until it gets heat in it. And it's hard to be patient when you're running for the win on old tires. So I'm happy that we were in position to do it. Uh, this group of guys. We're not quite ready to win yet, but that was close. And I was going to wreck my little brother to win today, but I just, <laughs> with three laps to go, I stepped out in turn one, and I wasn't close enough after that. But thanks to Matt McCall and everybody at Canassi, this number one monster Chevy's fast, but we just got to fine-tune it all. Kurt Busch, best finish of the year, second.